Hey, what's up guys? Rikus here. Um, so it's been a while since I've done any uh, modding tutorials. It's been about a year since I messed around with the Rust. Uh, you guys probably seen my Rain of Kings videos lately. But the news is, is that I'm getting back into modding and I just started making mods for, uh, for Rain of Kings. So the first one that I made uh, that I've been working on is um, just one that protects people from getting sieged while they're offline. And it also sets war times. So you can do slash war time as the admin. And that will toggle it to times of peace and times of war. So I'll show you what happens if you do it during peace times. Go ahead and load up my ballista. So what the code does, it checks for either the player doing a ballista or a trebuchet shot. So right now, um, if the admin was running this this mod, um, they would have it peace time right now. So that means no one's allowed to siege. This, this is what happens when you, uh, you siege. So as you can see, um, the server kicked me for staging deer in peace times. I'll go ahead and connect back to the server and also show you um, what's going on in the code too. So yeah, here's the code for it, but um, it's pretty, much, pretty much what happens is is uh, these are the block uh, coordinates. I, since they're unique, I use them as IDs. Then I attach a name to them. Then I check, you know. I'll, and I'll go over that later too. Like it, it also checks uh, to see if the players are online. And there's a if you set it up right in the config file, you can set it up so that you can't save an offline player. But anyways, you can set up your admins here in the config. You can put um, you can punish them by kicking or banning. Right now, I just have for kick. But if it was banned, it would be banned for one day for like with sieging. Also, you can announce in chat that people are sieging, and you can, uh, I'll, sh I'll show you that too. So we're not back in. Also, um, uh, I'm going to bring it over. Uh, up here it showed that uh, it, it logs to, to the server, so the server owners will know who's sieging. So it says, Frank has used Ballista Bolt on my own base, and I was online, and my guild is the Savages. So it also says that I did it illegally, so it's not back into the game. All right, so we can do slash check war time. It's time of peace, do not siege, so I'll toggle on the war time. All right, it's so time of war, you may now siege online players. So that's how I have it set up the config file that uh, you can attack online players. So I'll go ahead and load this up. And let's see if this works. It's bugged, so I have to. All right now, it's good. All right, so now, as you can see, it worked. It says you you are legally sieging Brachus's base, and it shows my my guild tag, and and it told the whole server that uh, that I'm legally sieging my own base, pretty much. So that's it for the, for this plugin. And pretty much, you know, for, for those servers, all those servers that don't want you to see people while you're offline, you know, they'll like this. I'm gonna start, uh, you know, going over tutorials on how to do the modding for RK. I have a lot of mods in mind that I can make. This is just the first one that I started on a few hours ago. But um, I'm definitely gonna get back into this. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do a tutorial series on it. We're gonna do it in C sharp, just because that's what everyone else is doing, and uh, I like C sharp, so. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the tutorial series that comes out. Also, if you're interested in getting with me for making mods for your personal server, let me know and I'll work with you with that. All right.